All turmoil encountered by Qantas during the last one and a half weeks was excluded from spotlight of a person. But now beware. He returns to Vanessa Hudson, who was appointed as the successor of Joyce earlier this year. Confronting it is what seems to be an inevitable task after being beaten in public opinion court. Turn the airline's reputation and at least last week's stock market hunts a record of 600 million. New Qantas CEO Vanessa Hudson inherited an airline in turmoil Jeffrey Thomas, editor-in-chief of the airline ratings, said. Joyce took off itself because it has become a lightning rod for all Qantas problems and generally aviation industry, he said. Getting out of COVID was a nightmare for the airline industry because many people were dismissed. Now. Vanessa Hudson only has to continue what Alan Joyce has already done. Research firm Roy Morgan said last month that Australians saw Qantas as country's most insecure brand in the economy worse than 16th-year-old budget airline Jetstar, which belongs to Qantas Group. Just three years ago, the national carrier was the third most reliable brand. Although this year's record record profit the profit of $2.5 billion has not been prevented from the success customer complaints. This begins to hesitate. Alan Joyce has made a record profit last month, but Qantas share price has decreased since then Qantas share price fell 13% last month and Joyce continued to fall even after the resignation of Tuesday. However, according to Thomas, who says that Joyce is preparing ground for the healing of airline? Hudson's mission is not as troublesome as he seems. I think you'll take advantage of everything that has been fulfilled. And now we're really coming to the point where the next six months will really be much better and it is accelerating. So that acceleration will continue. In a video message sent to the staff after Joyce's resignation, Hudson hesitated very little to determine his greatest priority as CEO. Currently, we will start to obtain this balance with our customers and focus on our new management team. A aviation expert says that Hudson should continue the floors thrown by Joyce Thomas says that Hudson should continue his work get back his airline's reputation HE continues to pay and use flight loans allowing fuel-saving aircraft buy and collapse of international factors from the control of the airline. However, others called for more harsh actions. The worker senator and for a long time Joyce critic Tony Sheldon. Qantas counsel Joyce's resignation cannot be hidden behind. Richard Goiter needs to go next. The board supports Joyce's behavior at every step and should be held equally responsible for the embarrassing situation of the company. Sheldon also asked 1,700 illegal workers to be restored by the airline and board of directors and shareholders to keep Joyce's bonus. He continued the board will be the of this century after the dismissal of 170.